So today I'm here at Tooling 2000 with Dean and we're going to have a look around their Herco CNC machine section. So first off, we're stood in front of a TM12i. So Dean, when did you get this machine? So I think we got this machine around 18 months ago. Um, we've always had the, the CNC milling machines. Um, as a company, they're trying to expand as much as possible and buy more machines. Um, so the lathe helps us broaden our horizons, really. So how come you went for a Herco lathe? Was that just an addition to the Herco mills you've already got? I'd say so, yes. Um, we always had Hercos and they've proved to be brilliant machines. They're the most friendly to use, conversational programming. Um, most of the jobs that we have, we can just do straight on the machine and they are just big, great machines. I think we've spent enough time on the lathe now, so we're going to move on to another little machine you might like. So Dean, now we're in front of what I would say is the next natural progression. Yeah. We're in front of the VMX 42 SRTI. So why did you take the jump into five axis? Um, we took the jump into this five axis to, again, broaden our horizons, give us more opportunities to do all kinds of work, really. This one in particular, um, you can still be used as a three axis. You've got the, the large travel across the, across the machine. Um, you've got the rotary table, three plus two. So I'm guessing that was the, uh, that was the deciding factor on why to go three plus two yeah. over the full five yeah. axis because you've still got the bed. Yeah, still got the bed, still can be used as a three axis. So I just think it gives you a lot of So it can be utilized for everything yeah. really, can't yeah, it? So, yeah. And while we're over it, we're now on to the, the control I yeah. used. Yeah. We're now on to the newer control, yeah. which- I'll just come and stand here. Obviously this one now has the dual screen. So what is the benefits of having the dual screen? Yeah, well, the, these uh, these screens are brilliant. You've got the, the dual screen. So as you can see on the, on the screen, you've got the actual model of the job that's being programmed. You can actually watch the cutter come over and, and see what it's doing on the screen, what it's doing in the machine. But also you can keep that on the on the screen whilst you actually program and you can draw it and watch what you've just programmed come up right on next to on the screen next to the original So really screen. even when you're programming and you can sort of prove your program yeah. at each stage. Prove your program at each stage and you're not going into a separate yeah. simulation yeah. every time. Yeah. So you've also got the DXF option and the, the model option. So you've always got that in front of you. So just Sorry, talking back to the DXF option. Now I've used this a lot, but can you just explain what the DXF option is? So the DXF option is basically your, your drawing on the machine. So if you have a drawing, we can get the CAD to put that onto the machine and you can select anything you want off of, off of that DXF then make it into a program and make your life easier. So really the, the DXF input is such a valuable tool yeah. because like work Dean was him. saying, you can <laughs> essentially put your drawing straight in and program off that drawing yeah. and it will give you all your positions. You can even get your depths off that, your hole sizes. And with the 3D model import and the five axis, the system will automatically calculate the fastest way around that job to find your holes. So it's such a great yeah, feature. Brilliant. Yeah. Now, another thing you've got on this one, which I really like, and I had this, I feel quite spoiled that I had it, is you've got the LCD screen yeah. on the hand wheel as well. So what's yeah. the benefits of having that? Well, the, the, the main benefits are, so you, you can you can move your table and set your job up and, and do whatever without actually having to revert back to your screen. You can take this off as it, as it does come up, go into the machine, and, and see all the figures on this screen. Obviously, it's a lot more helpful on a, on a larger machine, but yeah, brilliant. Now, there's one button I've got to ask you about on this machine just you before we know. move on, because we are Reckon I know we're, we're about to move on to <laughs> the biggest Herco machine I have ever seen. It's huge, but there's a button on a Herco which I really like, and I think it needs to be shouted about, and that is, what does the interrupt button do? The interrupt button? It all just brings itself up and stops the program mid-program, doesn't it? So with the interrupt button, you can actually mid-program, you can hit yep. the interrupt button, the machine will stop where it is, move up, out of the way, 
you can then open the door, you can move have a look the table in, and all. move the table about, you can check the job, make sure everything's working. And then all you do is press cycle start again and it will go exactly straight back to where it begins and just carry on as yep. normal. Yep. So now Dean, we are, if you've not noticed, quite tall up to now. <laughs> so we are now gonna jump down and move on to such a massive machine. So as you can see, we're actually now stood inside the last machine they've got. This is a DCX 42i and it is huge. So Dean, what is the actual workspace of this machine? Uh, so the travel on this machine is 4.2 meters by 2.6 meters. Now with a travel that big, I'm sure there's not much work you would do that can, like you wouldn't fit on this. You would, you would be surprised, yeah, we, we can do pretty much any, any size thing that needs to be machined, mainly castings are the things that normally fill the machines, but this allows us to have capacity to do anything that we, we need to do most of the time. Now, I want to get a little bit technical. So, uh, Spindle, what, how, what sort of tools are you using with this machine? With what sort of tools? So, anything, we use a lot of high feed cutters, end mills, anything like that. It, it, uh, the Spindle runs up to 10,000 RPM. Um, yeah, what, it's a what sort of tool holders are you using? Because that, for me, using oh, BT40s, yeah. Yeah. that seems huge. Well, all of the other machines we've got are all BT40s, and this machine itself, BT50, so it's a lot bigger, definitely. So even with that, and you can still run at 10,000 yeah, RPM, yeah. so there's not really much you can't yeah, cut at that. Yeah, it's a very much high, powerful, high torque machine. Yes, and then talking on the machine, how many tools can you fit in the carousel for this machine? You can get 40 tools in the carousel for automatic tool changer. So really, with 40 tools, there's not many jobs you would need up to 40 tools, is no, there really? No, you never need up to 40, but it's always nice to uh, keep a few in that, that, that you use quite often. So, did you know Herco do machines this big? Well, now you do.